Hey guys, Joe Franco here, and a little post-workout chatter. I believe this is number five. Today was more so a chest volume day with a little bit of biceps. So I really don't have a chest only day, only because I think that body part of me is okay. I mean, obviously we can always use improvement, um, but since I do a single shoulder day of pressing over the head, and I have some shoulder issues, I basically stick with uh, three exercises. Like I said before, um, on my push day, I started doing, you know, rest pauses, and I've continued to do them. So since then, I have increased the weight, which is good. felt felt good. Uh, so I hit those numbers. I then moved on to uh, incline dumbbell flies, which I haven't done in a really long time, only because the shoulder problem and basically haven't done these exercises. That exercise, probably, I don't know, since last year. But it's not a personal record or anything, but I handled 65s on the incline doing the fly for a few sets, you know, between 8 and 10 range, and that felt really good. Finished up with some slider incline dumbbell presses, high reps, just to burn them out. So as far as the total sets go, you know, probably in the mid-teens, you know, not like the back where I do focus on more volume, only because, you know, the back there's more surface area, there's more muscle compared to the chest. Uh, and then I moved on to biceps, two easy exercises, barbell curls. I did hit some good numbers on that and just finished up with one arm cable curls just to burn them out. And right before uh, I get done with this, I'll do uh, my 16, 17 minutes of cardio, you know, real light. I'm not going to, you know, I didn't get any major questions today, nothing to go about. But, you know, earlier today I was pretty busy and I was visiting a high school to possibly have a third, you know, OCB show next year. And the hardest part of promoting is literally just getting it going, you know, finding that school that's a good fit, you know, good location, close to hotels, you know, the, the whole behind the scene things that a lot of people don't realize. Um, the school that I visited was beautiful. It's one of the nicer ones. I mean, it was just great. Uh, and the price was reasonable, it's doable, but the, the big problem though is that for promoters is just finding that date that's not in conflict with other things going on. Because this school is newer, a lot of people are using the Performance Arts Center, you know, outside people in addition to their spring and winter concerts. So, because the goal of mine was to have it, you know, maybe March-ish, you know, that time frame. Uh, but it's just hard, you know, because according to their schedule right now, it may not work. So, you know, as a promoter, you always want to get it going. So that's why when you find a school, you cherish it. It's a good location. You know, that's why I've been lucky because I've been having those two shows at Burlington for a number of years because we take care of it. The people that work there are great. And therefore, you know, it's, it's an easy reoccurrence scheduling it. Uh, so just getting it going, you know, a lot of people don't realize that's really difficult to do for a promoter, just finding that location. Because there were even other schools that I reached out, and they said, yeah, March is all booked. So it's exciting to be able to do this, you know, to add a third show. I'm definitely going to get it going somehow or another. It's going to be, you know, the suburbs of Philly, because I know a lot of people have been wanting that. Um... You know, to draw an OCB show to the area for the last few years, and now things have worked out. So we're going to try to push forward with it. So it's to stay on the lookout for that on Facebook and whatnot, you know, any recent uh, updates. That's it, guys. Um, have a great Friday, and I'll talk to you soon. Again, questions, hit me up, fitfranco.verizon.net, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.